What's up my fellow backers, this is Sir6 here with your first 4 minutes with a new flight model. Once you log into the game, the first thing you'll notice is that H is no longer the button to get you up out of bed or to exit a vehicle. It is now uniform. The second thing you'll notice is as of right now, you no longer have advanced flight controls. You only have basic flight controls all around. Here is your keyboard overlay. I'll show you the panel so you can get a feel for what you'll be exposed to once you're in the verse. Alright, let's take a look at the flight deck of the ship. For this, we'll be using the Vanguard Warden as an example. Once you're at the flight controls, these are the things you need to know. Starting from the left side of the ship, you have this long bar. This is now your thrust information, and if you look closely towards the bottom, you'll see this red line. This is your ship's SCM speed, which is normal speed that does not push the engine. So just like in previous patches, if you are not using Afterburner, your ship's maximum speed will be this value. This red line is the ship's normal cruising speed. Anything about this red line will make the bar become red, indicating that the engines are working harder than normal, causing the engines to heat up. And with heat in 3.5, you can overheat your engines and they will shut down if you're not careful. But after a few seconds, they will become active again. You can use the mouse scroll wheel as your thrust limiter to not allow your ship's thrust to go above a certain threshold. Afterburner is still shipped. All it does now is get you to the desired speed faster, causing heat to build up. W is how you give the ship forward thrust. Sierra is to go backwards. Strafe up is still spacebar, and strafe down is still left control. Be careful, the ship no longer slows down by itself once your landing gear is down. You'll need to use the thrust limiter as such in order to maintain slower speeds, so be careful when you're coming to places like Port Alzar so you do not crash your ship into the station. Here is a quick overview of your basic flight controls. Decouple is now Victor, it is a toggle button. Charlie is your cruise control button. Once activated, you'll see a tiny arrow that is in conjunction with your thrust limiter. What this means is once you use your throttle limiter and you set it to a certain position, the ship itself will automatically keep your thrusters to the thrust limiter's position instead of you having to hold down W to maintain engine thrust. Think of this as cruise control on the car. You set your speed to a certain value and your car will automatically keep that speed until you hit the brakes. Speaking of brakes or speed brakes, it is now X-Ray or X. Romeo, or R, is now the gimbal lock button once flying or go flight ready once you enter the flight deck. Turning on ship power and off is Yankee, or Y. T, or Tango, is lights. To target an enemy, put your crosshairs on them and press 1. Buttons 1 through 4 is your targeting options. Your scan mode is still tapped, but right mouse button is how you spool up your scanner. Z is still free look. G is your countermeasures, and H is to cycle between the two. Below the thrust bar, you have your quantum fuel information. To the right, you have your countermeasures, and to the right of that, you have your G-force indicator. To the right of that, if your landing gear is down, you'll see this down arrow with a line up here. And to the right of that, you have this dot with bars around it. This is your G-safe indicator. And once uncoupled, you'll see a broken loop to the right of the G-safe indicator. And finally, above both the G-safe and uncoupled indicator, you have your hydrogen fuel indicator. Some ships won't have some info until you take off, but this is PTU, so this means that things are subject to change. I'll do my best to keep everyone updated who do not have access to PTU or busy with normal life situations. If the video was helpful, feel free to like it and share it with everybody else who would like to know what they expect with 3.5. But until then, I will see you on the flip side.